day 46 uh, we're heading to Mumbai today Finally in Mumbai. First time I came to this airport, I was six months old. Uh, Dylan Gray, the director of Fire in the Blood, will also be cycling with me. Dylan and I made it to Mumbai been following his progress throughout India and it's a real honor to uh, sort of piggyback for the for a few kilometers I mean I feel like a bit of a fraud because he's been uh, really clocking the kilometers and uh, going through all kinds of terrain and weather and I just sort of piggyback this last little bit but um, you know this is my hometown and uh, it's really great to welcome <laughs> Uni. Well, I'm glad to be here I'm looking forward to talking to medical students we have uh, an event at the Alliance Frances and uh, there's also another event access to drugs In fact, 1999 was when we started here in Mumbai, and this is the first MSF project in all of India. It was created as an organization to practice medicine differently, not restricted to your national health systems, but to work as a doctor as if borders didn't matter. We deal with uh, patients who are HIV positive along with drug-resistant TB. When I say drug-resistant TB, that's a broad term. I say that because it includes all the resistant TBs, including MDR, multidrug-resistant TB, which is the simplest one. But there's XDR TB and XXDR TB and pre-X, you don't even want to know. Our patients are not patients who can just take treatment for six months, four tablets, and they're done. Our patients need to be on injectables for at least six to nine months, maybe even up to a year, 12 months of injectables. And tablets, which is a big bunch of tablets, they need to take around 20 pills a day for two years minimum. Because one of the really nasty things about drug-resistant TB is the treatment. And of course, we do innovation. So one of the first things we did was to combine all of this into one pill. So taking four tablets twice a day, we made it one pill once a day. There's a strong connection between uh, uh, Médecins Sans Frontières and Alliance Française. So we have uh, benefited from the Alliance Française network throughout India. The movie you will see today is quite a, a compelling movie. This is a story about statistics. The millions of people in poor countries who died needlessly of AIDS, while giant pharmaceutical companies blocked access to the low-cost medicine which could have saved their lives. When you see something like this and you realize that uh, there were people who, who actually felt that they were um, justified in these kinds of policies which led to so many deaths, you're just shocked. Practicing medicine as a humanitarian, I think it will be a time well spent. I found Dr. Unni's uh, lecture very uh, enlightening and I didn't know that there was this side to medicine before he uh, spoke, uh, spoke about it and I would like to thank him for this. Today we are talking about access to medicine. Civil society awareness is very important. We have to spread this knowledge because if our generics sell out, we are going to suffer a lot. We are talking about the problem. Let's talk about the solution to it. But the solution itself is a problem. Why? Because the drugs are very costly. We are putting out small fires, but we have not really addressed the big problem, uh, a system that is broken. And I think what's missing in a lot of these discussions is what is the public interest? But ultimately it's not about India, it's not about pharmaceutical company, it's about the patients and what access they can have to life-saving medicines. 